Barack had bitter clingers, and Hillary had her basket of deplorables. And now Katie Couric become the latest elite blowhard to psychoanalyze Trump supporters. America's sweetheart, now an old fart, thinks she's cracked the code of MAGA by calling them a bunch of rubes. Socioeconomic disparities are a lot, and class resentment is a lot what, and anti-intellectualism and elitism is what is driving many of these, these anti-establishment, which are Trump voters. I don't know if you've ever been jealous of some what someone else has or resentful. It is such a corroding and um, bitter, almost bile <laughs> feeling. Wow. Mm, even after the colonoscopy, she's still full of crap. <laughs> anyway, she's a prime example of the rot in the liberal media. Remember the NPR veteran who blew the whistle on that outlet's anti-Trump bias? Well, instead of changing how they cover the Don, NPR just suspended the guy for speaking the truth. All right, this is kind of fun. Mm. What happened, Judge, to Katie Couric? You know what? People should get behind Trump because he upsets the right people. <laughs> Look yeah. at her. She's, like, shrinking. It, well, she's <laughs> shrinking in a lot of ways. I think she's shrinking mentally, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know what it's like when you're jealous of people and the bile? I mean, what the hell is she talking about? But, you know, for years, you know, they were the people who didn't like people. You know, they loved everybody. They had the big umbrella. And now they hate everybody who supports Donald Trump. And, you know, if, if there's anything that's anti-intellectual, and she talks about anti-intellectuals, it's someone like her who takes a broad-brush approach and simply says, that, you know, we're a bunch of jealous people and, and, and that, you know, we don't have a brain. But, but I don't, you know, I've never been a real fan of hers, and I don't have a lot to say other than she just can't deal with it, and she's typical of the Democrats who absolutely hate anybody who doesn't think like they do. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, Pierce, I bet she has a number of peccadilloes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've had a few uh, discussions about the word peccadillo, so let's just for the record, for those who don't know what it means, because I don't want to dazzle you with my knowledge of the English language, obviously, uh, it is a small, relatively unimportant offence or sin. Mm. Uh, and the point I was making is that one night, allegedly with a porn star in Beverly Hills, comparative to defiling an intern in the Oval Office or paying somebody $850,000 to get rid of an abuse harassment case, I would think the American people, if they're being honest with themselves, would view the Clinton offences as a slightly higher level of peccadillo than the offence that Trump is currently mm. languishing in a courtroom for. Um, as for Katie Couric, interesting, isn't it? Because Trump got 10 million more votes in 2020 than 2016. Mm -hmm. So people looked at his presidency, which, according to the left was the worst of all time, and 10 million more Americans voted for him the second time round. Uh, and as for Kelly Kirk's claim that all the people that support Trump are jealous, bitter and resentful, this is somebody who wrote a book a few years ago called Going There, mm -hmm. in which she went there. Uh, she launched a series of jealous, bitter and resentful attacks right. on other female TV hosts, sure. from Ashley Banfield to Deborah Norville to Diane Sawyer to Martha Stewart. There was nobody spared the bitter, jealous and yes. resentful wrath of Katie Couric in that book. So for her to start lambasting 80 million Americans who have the gall in her eyes to vote for the non-intellectual Trump, when she herself has been so hypocritical about spewing the bile herself, I suggest she puts a sock in it. It is so... See, Jesse, that's what happens when people do research before the show. <laughs> you know, she's saying MAGA is dumb, and I guess coming from the Today Show, which is the bastion of intellectualism, right? I mean, Matt Lauer was a regular uh, Ludwig von Mises. Mm. Don't know who that is. Austrian <laughs> economist. <laughs> So before we get started, I just do have to make a clarification about something that was said during the last block. Kennedy mentioned peccadillos <laughs> a year ago, so I was wrong about that. It's been mentioned twice by Kennedy and now Pierce, so again, I'm deeply, deeply sorry for that. You believe the American version of this is shenanigans. Shenanigans, right? yeah. I did. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt ah, famously lady. said, uh, great minds talk about ideas. 
Average minds talk about events. Small minds talk about people. Mm. Katie Couric seems to me like she talks a lot about people. Mm. And she talks a lot about one person in particular, Donald Trump. A lot of the great idea guys around, Greg Gutfeld. Thank you. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan Peterson. He's okay. <laughs> Joe Rogan. Nice guy. X. Key guy. Piers Morgan. <laughs> Thank you. Those are the kind of spaces where people are talking about ideas, where people who are curious come in and they're humble and mm -hmm. they listen. And that's what people are attracted to right now. I see those shows and all you see is love and affection. When I walk around D.C. or New York City, I see a lot of bitterness. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of very smart people who have it together. Uh, I see a lot of people living in boxes, in dead end jobs, and they're jealous of people that can live outside most of the day and have fresh food and sunlight. <laughs> and I think she's confusing anti-intellectual with anti-establishment. Yeah. We see the people in the establishment as trying to appear to be intellectuals, but what they're really doing is in doing so, making stupid decisions mm -hmm. or staying stupid things like the Supreme Court nominee who couldn't define a woman mm -hmm. or the Harvard president who said, oh, if you chant kill the Jews, it's not harassment mm -hmm. or the CEOs that trade factories for fentanyl or uh, the politicians who shut down schools for two years. We see that as really dumb. We see that as anti-science, as anti-human. And so we just don't like being lectured to by people who maybe went to the right schools, but do and say all the wrong things. Well put, Jesse. Thank you. You are a man of the people. I am. You know, uh, double S, mm -hmm. uh, I want to talk to you about NPR. They suspended this editor yeah. who blew the whistle. I thought the left loved whistleblowers. And also, can't they have their government funding pulled because they're not an objective source for journalism? Sure. Um, I, I think you'd you don't seem certain on that. No, I'm what I'm, <laughs> what I'm I'm just thinking about the framing of your question with Katie Couric, mm -hmm. which, by the way, I think I was saying this at the break. You know, what happened to her? Like, she just seems so bitter and angry. And some some of us grew up watching her on the Today Show and they embraced her and she's changed. Um, I think so many people are not shocked to see an elite elitist member of the media out there calling out what they see as the lunatic fringe right right but where is the where is you know where's the dichotomy of the 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 far left lunatics out there that are chanting death to america mm -hmm. in dearborn michigan and there's no conversation in that interview being had so not shocking to hear both sides calling each other out but when you look at the lunatic fringe right what are they taking issue with? Waving big American flags off their pickup trucks? And on the lunatic fringe left, they're chanting death to America? I mean, remember that when you hear her calling out the far right for being jealous, bitter, resentful people. And that interview was really interesting. I think it stopped a lot of people in their tracks. It's like 2020 all over again. Mm -hmm. And credit to Bill Maher, who did actually take her up on it. And he said, look, you can criticize Trump as much as you like. You don't criticize all his voters no. en masse. Like yeah, somehow yeah. there's some appalling She doesn't know entity. one. She's probably never met one. That's the thing, you know? Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.